that, Ernest? I can't simply rest in my laurels. No, of course not. But decency and principle aren't the way to fight these people. You've got to learn to compete on their terms. <laughs> Become a political animal. No ectopic? No nothing. A diagnostic puzzle. <laughs> Makes a welcome change from the usual bumps and lumps. Mm. Try phoning them again. Stop winding me up. It's bad enough as it is. I'm doing this for us, Caroline. All the lies and covering up. All so that we can get away with this. So I can make a clean break with Alison. That's what this is about. Don't you see? I'll phone them as soon as I get a chance. Answer machine on the blink or something. It's got a quality control device. Any messages from oily old tossers get automatically wiped. What have you got against me all of a sudden? Only two things your looks and your personality. If I haven't appeared to care for you, it's only because you've made me believe that's what you wanted. Give me another chance. Please. It's all too late, Adrian. to see the hospital manager. Now, would that be the clinical director, the business manager, the administrator, the administrative assistant, the unit manager, the assistant general manager, the unit general manager, the executive, or the chief executive, do you think? Michelle? Mm. How are you? I'll make sure you get some stronger painkillers. Thank you. I want to go on and do some more tests. Okay. I'll get it right next time. Ultrasound? I'm afraid they can't fit us in today, Mr. DeVries. I believe I was quite specific we should get that scan. I'm sorry, Mr. DeVries. My apologies, sir. It appears we're to have the pleasure of your company for one more day. At your inconvenience and great expense of the taxpayer until we're able to reach a diagnosis. Can we have this lot done too, please? I suppose I should be grateful. You haven't killed him. I mean, why, Julie? To undermine my position? To stand up and be counted. Maybe I can pull a few strings and keep this out of the press. You don't listen, do you, Paul? I'm not allowed to. <laughs> She's got excruciating abdominal pain, central but radiating the back and arms. Did you do the x-rays? Yes. Same pain as before, Michelle. <laughs> Sharp or dull? Like I'm being squeezed. And it goes into your back? You're sick. Sweaty. There's nothing on these. Julie Novak is our senior casualty sister. Her comments may have been ill-advised. But her record at this hospital is exemplary. I'd like to give her the opportunity to make some sort of retraction. I stake my position on this. Leave it to me. Her pain settled for the time being, but I wanted your opinion. Uh, the films are unremarkable. I think we should seek a physician's opinion. Uh, I'm sure we can get to the bottom of this ourselves, Mr. D. Well, I hope professional vanity isn't been put before our patient's welfare. I'll ask the physicians to see you, Mr. Doherty. Uh, scissors. Yes, Mr. Lockery. Your opinion now. Flowers. Are they a good idea? Research indicates that flowers outperform chocolates in that particular field. 
although the data may be skewed by relative underreporting of negative results. Thanks for doing it so quickly. Nothing to write home about here. But I suppose one of us should have a look at her. At least that way the patient gets to be seen by one proper doctor during her admission. It wasn't my idea to run to teach her. We'll get the diagnosis soon enough. So far the evidence appears to be to the contrary. See you later, Andrew. OK. Michelle. Hi. I'm Dr Colin. Uh, I can ask you a couple of questions, OK? OK. Have you uh, ever had any chest pain or unexpected shortness of breath? Maybe the occasional twinge, yeah. And you get pain if you overdo things? Don't we all? Where? In the pit of my stomach. And it goes if you rest? Yeah. Do you smoke, Michelle? Sorry. Any diabetes, high blood pressure, family history of any heart trouble? My uncle died of a heart attack and my father takes heart tablets and my mother gets palpitations from time to time, but they're not serious. See, I'm wondering uh, whether the pain is actually coming from your heart. Occasionally it can feel like it's coming from somewhere else. Look, I know we've been around the houses with you, but uh, we'll get there in the end, OK? OK. I'll arrange to transfer her to our ward. There's no need. Well, if we don't sort her out, she's just going to bounce back to you, isn't she? Caroline! Sorry, I got called away. You know, don't you? Y you were leaving without telling me. Caroline. I meant every word I said. The test result was negative. I'm so glad. I'll tell Alison. Sure you will. This intimidation of hospital staff must come to an end, you know, Graham. I think you'd agree this is now a matter for the committee to act upon. With respect, Ernest, I disagree. I would strongly discourage any challenge to manager's right to manage. Then once more I put it to you. You should stand down. I have no intention of so doing. To my regret, Graham, you and I have now become adversaries. Those of us who stand by and let these things happen, we're just as guilty. Um, I'm trying to contact the duty social worker in reference to a patient whom the doctors want to send home, but uh, she needs domiciliary support. OK. Yes, yeah, Sister Novak, thank you. So, how about this drink, then? Well... Sorry. I don't know what came over me. Looks the other way around to me. Mr. Hammond. I've received a report that you gave a tetanus injection this morning without you being prescribed by a doctor. Report from whom? One of your nurses. You people actually report each other. It's amazing. The doctor was busy. I gave the tet talks and got him to sign afterwards. It's getting so a nurse can't wipe a patient's bum without a doctor's consent. Judy, what if the patient had had a reaction to the injection? Then he would have had it whether the doctor had signed or not. You were in clear contravention of policy. <sighs> your interview has gone to press. Maybe we can find a way of making your comments a little less mordant. A retraction. And then you'll overlook the tetanus crime of the century? Yes. Oh, don't bully me, Paul. I'm trying to save you. Why? Why do you think? Oh, Paul. Are you feeling better? Yeah. How long since you took the tablet? About ten minutes? About that, yeah. It was actually only a couple of minutes, Michelle.